Hey, good morning, everybody. Jeff Slicky here on The Daybreak Show. I've got two great guests talking about an upcoming women's health event. It's this Saturday from 8 to 1 at Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics, starting there at the South Main Entrance. Again, it's time for the women's health event. Karen Hilburn and Jennifer Anderson are in studio with me this morning. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for being here, talking about this uh, wonderful event. Really has evolved over the years, Karen, <laughs> oh, for my sure. My goodness, yes, since we first started. It's been going on for a few years yes. now, and uh, the women's health event has really uh, transformed and become uh, more of a, a family uh, activity as well. There's things for the kids to do and see and learn. Uh, what are some of the things, though, for the women here starting out? Still the mammograms available for the yes. first 50? Tell us about some of the highlights. Okay. Uh, mammograms is always, and we can't impress enough how important that is for women to get their mammograms. And particularly, you know, if there's somebody that comes in has a little bit of a uh, worry concern because they've got a problem they need to let the people at Mason General know right away because sure. they'll get them in right away and we've saved lives that way. It's, um, it's amazing when you mm -hmm. come back and tell me some of those <clears throat> stories. Uh, now how is it if the person uh, coming in is doesn't have insurance or doesn't have full coverage of insurance? Talk to me about that. Okay, so uh, there's several things uh, the state can get involved. What we do when they walk through the door is there's a little bit of paperwork to fill out and they get an application to my cancer fund. Everybody does okay. because we aren't sure whether they're eligible or not, but we want to catch them and so that uh, we don't let anybody walk out the door yeah. without that. Jennifer, tell me uh, some of the other highlights and uh, uh, events that people are going to be able to see and learn about this Saturday. So we have quite a few partners, and uh, this year we really partnered very well with Cielo for our outreach, which was nice, as well as CareNet, the uh, National Alliance for Mental Illness will be there, South Sound Seniors. Wow. <laughs> We also, Molina will be there, Child Care Action Council, and uh, we have some fun kids' activities planned as well. We have uh, a kaleidoscope table that the Child Care Action Council will will man, and uh, some button making and face painting, and then also uh, Mason County Literacy will be there and reading, and we'll have a coloring station. So it, nice. we really want it to be for the whole family, and we're looking at, at making sure that we're not just emphasizing one aspect of care. We also will have blood pressure checks and blood sugar checks and educational opportunities. Some nutritionists will be there to talk about food choices and try to include everyone in the it family. It really is, and it has become, I mean, the partnerships that have come across and come along since uh, you started these things. Really amazing to see okay. as it fills up the Eleanor and the Pershing meeting rooms at the hospital. I mean, those are those are chock full mm -hmm. of, of different uh, tables of literature for folks. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other things that folks, uh, at the end of the day, you guys are maybe doing your debrief at the end, you come away, you go, man, we were able to help this many people or do you have any good stories like that that come back afterwards well yeah as, as far as my friend is concerned and and what we see with people that um, may or may not uh, have breast cancer it's just that uh, calmness people have uh, after their mammogram they're so stressed when they come in mm -hmm. and some have never had one wow. and uh, they find out it's not a big deal. It's just so fast and easy, and uh, they walk out the door thinking that, gosh, I've done this now, I will keep coming back. And we see women come back year after year now, and uh, that's so important. What are the current medical guidelines on getting a mammogram? Is it a yearly, uh, every six months? or? It's actually, it depends on who you talk to. Okay. So certain bodies recommend every other year and others. So radiology, the um, main radiology organization, I can't remember the name, they say every year. Sure. And um, College of Surgeons says every two years. And if you, you can go through 10 different major organizations and find dif different guidelines based on the studies. So kind of the way we approach it at Mason General is we say, you know, if unless your provider and you have a discussion about having it every other year, come in every year. Sure, sure. And that way. 
And if your insurance company won't pay for it or there's not funds available, my fund will pick it up. We uh, help younger women that maybe don't have insurance or their insurance doesn't cover that kind of thing because they're too young. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of women that get breast cancer very young. Yeah. We have at least two stories from the last oh. month where you've been able to help younger yeah. women. Wow. It just makes me sick when somebody will come in and, and while well, I didn't know that I, it would be paid for. We had a girl two years ago that she and her boyfriend came in. She was 19 years old and discovered a lump and was scared to death uh, just sure. you know it's awful anytime but when you're that age and she started crying because she said I know there's something wrong but I can't pay for it I mean she was still trying to go to college so uh, and that's one place where we can step in and yeah. make a difference and we did give her a mammogram she did have a cyst but it was benign and so you just smile all over yourself thinking yeah. oh my gosh what a wonderful thing that she could come in and get that taken yeah. care of wow yep. I think another really wonderful gift that you kind of alluded to was when we do these events we get people in who've been not well I need to I don't do it but once they have that first exam they realize that this really isn't hard and they do follow up and sure. we, we get people entering the system that otherwise kind of hang on the fringes and we will also be signing people up for health insurance yeah, to enrollment, right? open up, enrollment so exactly Susanna Lopez still working on that project supervisor you can get health insurance information up in the moment yeah that's on the way yeah so the women's health event continues on it's this Saturday from 8 to 1 you can head in at the south main entrance here there is a digital mammograms uh, to the first 50 women who qualify the free event open to the community you can find out more at masongeneral.com diabetes testing and great uh, uh, flyer there with all the uh, things that folks are able to see and do also see those out we'll put one up in the window <laughs> at the door here at the old radio ranch uh jennifer karen nice to talk with you about this great event and and uh and good on on all the folks at the hospital for keeping these things going i want to say one sure. thing go ahead i want to thank kms for your support over mm -hmm. the years oh, because yeah. you have supported this event from the beginning I remember the first one. Oh yeah how many years yeah. oh uh you know offhand eight i want to yeah, yeah eight, eight, quite a close few. to ten i'm not okay. sure either and i should have looked but better, yeah better. around 10 years but cameos has always been there and on site some of the times yeah. and but they always do this for us and we appreciate it very oh, very much well, oh welcome. yeah and i think you know when we have we try to get the family to come out those saturday mornings before other events uh, it, yeah it's important to get the information and bring my son along too and start to see that you know hospitals are okay places <laughs> people there just want to help oh very cool jennifer karen nice to see you i do have one last thing also yeah, no, sorry that's fine. we did i wanted to let everyone know there is a correction when we printed the scope yeah the uh spanish version had the 28th as the date of the event we've since corrected everything but if anyone has a scope and is <laughs> seeing that it is definitely on the 20th we do not have anything planned for the 28th and we are very very sorry for that confusion okay good and we will make sure that we uh let folks know throughout the rest of the week after Thank we you. air this jennifer karen here on i-501 news radio